Twice in one day, to what do I owe the pleasure? Not me, Castillo. The chief would like a few words. Cruz? Sir. So he had to call out the reinforcements, did he? Cruz, the deputy attorney general asked me to come down here and get to the bottom of this Warren Lockridge business. Now, if what he claims is true, you're in serious trouble. What has he claimed? That you stonewall picking Lockridge up on a warrant? Do you believe him? I'm asking you. With all due respect, sir, maybe you should ask him why it's written in stone that I'm the one who has to bring Warren in and where he gets off making a public show of sending me out to do it with a warrant that isn't worth the paper it's printed on. That is not for you to decide. You have a job to do. It's your sworn duty as an officer of the law. And while I'm out there doing my sworn duty, you will be where? In front of a camera somewhere, right? Holding a press conference, isn't in this... Gee, what a coincidence. Happens to be an election year, grandstand play for free publicity mode. You know, I don't want this guy campaigning on my back, sir. It's annoying. You want to make a career out of railroading some innocent man? That's fine. But I don't want to be a part of it. You go arrest him yourself. If you have proof that Lockridge is innocent, I would like to see it. I don't need proof. If you had a friend who was a cop, they would explain to you that somewhere in your gut you know what's up. That's the barometer you go by. In my gut, I know that Warren Lockridge is innocent. I'd stake my badge on it. Well, you may have to, Cruz, because if Marley can prove you're a derelict of duty, you not only have to give up your badge, but your gun as well. Then appear in front of a police commission to answer disciplinary charges. While real criminals, like me, are out roaming the streets, terrorizing innocent women and children, Disgusting. Cruz, put your badge away. I surrender. Try not to look so disappointed. Mm -hmm.